recently just bought a synthetic wig. I was researching about synthetic wigs, the pros and the cons, and I thought now would be the perfect time to play around with it. This video might be a bit too long. If it is too for you, no worries, I do have timestamps. You can go to whichever section makes sense for you. All right, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the wig just yet, but looking at it, I wanna comb out. So this is the wig. I want to comb out the curls a bit, define them a bit, maybe put some water, maybe put some leave-in conditioner, maybe put in some mousse. I want to layer it a bit because I see here it is a bit flat. Not too much though because I see that the front part is already layered but maybe I'll layer this, this section of the hair and then I definitely want to open the part a bit you know make the part a bit bare because i have realized with wigs you guys if you want it to look natural you need to go overboard i mean with natural hair you can get away with a thick hairline with wigs like these especially those that come in a like silky texture for it to look natural the hairline needs to be thinned out and then the parting space needs to be a bit bigger I mean usually your scalp is lighter than your skin tone but with wigs your scalp needs to match or the scalp that will appear under the wig needs to match your skin tone so with wigs definitely you need to over exaggerate certain things I prefer my stocking cap to be just before my hairline I don't like it either being on my hairline or just behind my hairline I don't like the wig touching any part of my hair so you just do whatever you feel comfortable with. This is how the wig looks on the street from the packaging. Oh, seems like there'll be a lot of work to do, but I'm ready for the challenge. Okay, so I'm liking the lace. It is really a thin lace and it's a bit lighter than my skin tone, but not that much. So I will be tinting the lace. Before we start, I will tint the lace. So to tint the lace, I'm using this Z-Wigs um, Z tint spray in medium brown. You can even use a foundation that is your skin tone. And then I'm just going to use my blow dryer on the cool setting to dry the, the, the tint spray because it does take a while to dry. You can also air dry it but I only have 20 minutes currently to get this wig together so I'm gonna use the hair dryer. So all that I'm gonna do is just use this comb to comb out the curls and see what happens so this is how the hair looks with me having just brushed it out okay so the next thing that i'm gonna tackle is gonna be this parting area i just want to make it a bit bigger so i'm going to be using a pair of tweezers and one thing i want to say with plucking guys if you're a beginner don't expect to be moving fast, like in that fast motion like we do in the tutorial. Start very slow and deliberate. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at this parting area and then you're going to deliberately search for those areas that are fuller. And then you're going to take your tweezer and go to that area. Then you're going to actually... So let me come closer. You're going to actually make sure that you see yourself taking pieces of hair, strands of hair, like physically taking pieces of hair, then you're gonna grab it and feel that you've taken a hold of hair, then you're gonna pull it up and then you're gonna pull it out again. You go and you find another area, in this case, there are 
this potting area is very full so the first instance you're just gonna go randomly from the front to the back so i've started in the front then i'm gonna go next to it i'm gonna take a piece of hair i'm gonna grab hold of two strands of hair make sure that i'm i have them firmly in the tweezer in between the tweezers i can feel that they're in the tweezers then you pull up and then you pull out so it will be up so it will be up and then out up up out up out up out up out up out that's what i'm going to be doing So the other thing I forgot to tell you is when you're plucking, you need to push the hair, you need to push the hair back every time. So when you're going to start and pluck from this side to that area, when you go back to this area, you will push the hair back. And you can also go in with the spray the second time you go in. So you're going to spray your water, push the hair back. And then you're going to pluck from this side to that side. Push the hair back again. Spray with water. Then go again from that side to that side. And also like I said if you're a beginner. Start off very slow. And what you're going to do is you're going to strategically look at those areas that are fuller. With this hairline it was full everywhere. So when you started off you wouldn't really see. You just start randomly moving from this side to that side never staying at the same place more than i'd say three times so you'd go one two three then move on to the next area one two three move on to the next area one two three move on to the next area one two three and like i said the motion will be you pinch a hair you feel yourself pinching the hair then you pull it up and you pull it out you pull it up and you pull it out you feel yourself pinching and grabbing the hair, physically pinching and grabbing the hair. Then you go up, then you go out. Then you up, then you go out. You do this while holding the hair taut like this. So see the difference between this area that wasn't plugged and this area over here or better yet this area that was plugged and this area that wasn't if you want to you're more than welcome to plug along this hairline but i'm not because i'm just gonna be focusing on this area this is the area that i want to look more natural i'm just gonna let it the hair flow like this and if you do want the hair away from your face you can plug the whole way through so now we're gonna go and cut the lace so the lace is a bit too straight for my liking so i have a little trick that i'm gonna do it's better to show than to explain i'll come in and explain in some parts but where i can't i will just show you to cut the lace i'll be using a razor I like the razor because you don't have to worry about the zigzag, stabity zigity motion with the razor. The ends are already serrated, so it will automatically create that zigity zag, zag zag, whatever um, line. And this is just an eyebrow razor. So in this area, I'm just going to cut along the hairline of the hair. So from this part to this part, I'm just going to be cutting along the already created hairline. And then if there is already any excess, you see there's excess 
lace it doesn't matter we'll just come in with the scissors and chop it off okay so for this area now i'm gonna take out some little strands of hair So you can see the hairline is no longer straight, it goes in and out and then it's a bit jaggedy over here because of the little hairs that I cut out and then I cut around those little hairs. So I'm not going to spray it here, I'm just going to stop over here. But if you wanted to push back your hair and expose your, all your hair, you can then spray it up until here. But because I know that I'm going to be laying the hair across my face, I'm only concerned with like up to here, not really the sideburn area. Then I'm going to use this elastic band to melt the lace into the hairline. It is time to style the hair. So I'm just going to go in with water quickly to see how the waves respond to water. So now it's time to layer the hair.
how do I look? <laughs> like honestly, how do I look? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you can. Until next time, you guys.